I teach straying from me. Yet, who can stray from me? I follow you, whoever you are, from this present hour. My words itch at your ears till you understand them. I do not say these things for a dollar or to fill up the time while I wait for a boat. It is you talking as much as myself. I act as the tongue of you. It was tied in your mouth. In mine, it begins to be loosened. In mine, it begins to be loosened. I have said that the soul is not more than the body. And I have said that the body is not more than the soul. And nothing, not God, is greater to one than oneself is. And whoever walks a furlong without sympathy, without sympathy walks to his own funeral dressed in a shroud. And I, or you, pocketless of a dime, may purchase the pick of the earth. And I or you, pocketless of a dime, can purchase the pick of the earth. And to glance with an eye or show a beam in its pod confounds the learning of all times. And there is no employment, but the young man following it may become a hero. And there is no object so soft. There is no object so soft. But it makes a hub. A hub for the wheel of the universe. And any man or woman. Any man or woman shall stand cool and supercilious. Before a million universes. Before a million universes. And I call to mankind be not curious about God. For I, who am curious about each, am not curious about God. No array of terms can say how much I am at peace about God and about death. I hear and behold God in every object, yet I understand God not in the least. Nor, Nor do, do I, I understand, understand who there can, can be more wonderful than myself. Why should I wish to Why see should God? I wish to see God better than this day? I see something of God I see each of God. hour of the twenty-four each hour and the each moment then and each moment then. In the faces of men and women I see God. And in my own face in the glass. I find letters from God dropped in the street. I find letters from God dropped in the street. And everyone is signed by God's signed name. By God's name. Forever and ever. 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 I speak the password, primeval. I give the sign of democracy. By God, I will accept nothing which all cannot have their counterpart of on the same terms. Through me, many long, dumb voices. Voices of the interminable generations of slaves. Voices of prostitutes and of deformed persons. Voices of the diseased and despairing and of thieves and dwarfs. Voices of cycles of preparation and accretion and of the threads that connect the stars and of wounds, and of the father's stuff, and of the rights of them the others are down upon, 
of the trivial and foolish and flat and despised, of fog in the air and beetles rolling balls of dung. Through me, forbidden voices, voices of sexes and lusts, voices veiled, and I remove the veil. Voices indecent by me, clarified and transfigured. I do not press my finger across my mouth. I hold as delicate around the bowels as around the head and heart. Copulation is no more rank to me than death is. I believe in the flesh <laughs> and the appetites. <laughs> Seeing, hearing, and feeling are miracles, and each part untied of me is a miracle. Divine am I inside and out, and I make holy whatever I touch, or I'm touched from. The scent of these armpits is aroma finer than prayer. The head is more than churches or Bibles. have been the preparations for me, faithful and friendly the arms that have helped me. Cycles varied my cradle, rowing and rowing like cheerful boatmen for room to me the stars kept aside in their own rings they sent influences to look after what was to hold me before I was born out of my mother generations guided me my embryo has never been torpid could overlay it for it the nebula cohered to an orb the long slow strata piled to rest it on vast vegetables gave its sustenance monster sauroids transported it in their mouths and deposited it with care all forces have been steadily employed to complete and delight me. 